And Elaine is always at risk if Shellyan is around. I'm not too big to admit. Remember when I said Elaine pulled up on Shellyan and then passed her as if she can do this now at any time. It's like running against somebody that you know you can beat for sure. And you just pull up when you want to and just speed off when you want to like Speedy Gonzalez or something. But no, this run today proves that it's not so. Every time Elaine runs, Shellyan is no easy feat for her to beat. I think they should have a broom in the <laughs> They should have a broom in the middle of the Jamaican map. Because in, in the middle of the Jamaican map and in the middle of the Jamaican flag. That should become their national symbol. I think they should start calling Jamaica the country that sweeps. Yes, that should be their motto. The country that sweeps. Because right now they are sweeping everybody. Let me remind you. Tokyo Olympics. Sweep. Prefontaine Classics. Sweep. Diamond League. Lausanne. Sweep. Again. One, two, three. This is the team to beat Jamaica's three women's 100 meter from Tokyo 2020 Olympics who swept then were once again the protagonists at this Diamond League meet in Lausanne Switzerland but with the roles reversed because guess what happened Shelly and Fraser Price came back for that first place competition is what keeps you on top of your game and she has the best competition in the world because she still has elaine right there to fire her up and give her something to compete against how can i ever after this forget sharika jackson i forgot her name before but i won't ever forget her name again it's shelly and fraser price this race first place elaine Thompson Hera, second place, and of course, Sharika Jackson in third to take it home again in a full sweep for Jamaica. Silver medalist Shelly and Fraser Price led the start on a windy night in the Olympic capital, breezing home in a personal best of 10.60 seconds, the third fastest time ever to edge her compatriot and the Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hera at the line. Coming into this race, she was the silver medalist. Coming into this race, she was the person who was expected to come second, but it did not work out that way again. I hope everybody realizes that we are witnessing awesome history unfold right in front of us. Jamaicans, y'all are so great, y'all just compete against yourselves. <laughs> that alone is greatness. It's one thing to just sweep and sweep and sweep. This is like solidifying. Listen, we're just going to go around the world just sweeping people. Like, oh, they have doubts over here? Okay, we'll show up over here and sweep everybody. We'll show up over there and sweep every... Oh, y'all having doubts still? It's like going around the room and just showing your strength. We are here to sweep, all right? <laughs> and right now, that's what it is. And it looks beautiful. They are so strong, they have nobody else to compete against them except for them competing against themselves in other words jamaicans competing against jamaicans i was looking for everything i'm still watching the body language i'm still looking to see any form of uh things are not right behind the scenes but they're really trying to hold it together in a public eye and i'm definitely not seeing that what i am definitely seeing though is elaine did not like that at all that shelly won this one and of course, she shouldn't. It is where her head is supposed to be. At this point, people are saying, look, Elaine is tired, bruh. This is, you're talking about Tokyo, it was gold for her. Diamond League, gold and personal gold for her. And here she is again in Switzerland. And she, her legs are, she's on the circuit, she's running. But guess what? I thought Diamond League was one event held on one day. I'm not afraid to say I didn't know that. So I learned today that she will have to go at the Flojo record in the Diamond League season. 
it's called. I thought Diamond League was one day, and it's not. It's a season. So there are multiple races, multiple times to prove yourself, and we'll see what happens next. I'm not too big to admit. Remember when I said Elaine pulled up on Shellyan and then passed her as if she can do this now at any time? It's like running against somebody that you know you can beat for sure. And you just pull up when you want to and just speed off when you want to like Speedy Gonzalez or something. But no, this run today proves that it's not so. Every time Elaine runs, Shellyan is no easy feat for her to beat. And Elaine is always at risk if Shellyan is around. So it's a beautiful competition. And I'm getting to like get used to their face now. As far as when they don't win first place. Because they're these are super competitors. Okay. So when they don't win first place, it's natural to feel some type of way about it. What I did want to see and what I am seeing is the unity amongst them and the Jamaica brand. Brand Jamaica right now is a blazing brand as we speak. It's a beautiful thing. Sharika Jackson, we love you. We thank you because without you, it would probably be somebody else getting that place and we couldn't be over here bragging and talking about we sweeping everybody. So you are just as important, sister girl. And man, we are so appreciative right now. Listen up, in the time of Corona, when everybody is feeling somewhat kind of out of place and down and vaccines going around and this and that, wear your mask, social distance, take the vaccine, don't take the vaccine, it is good to get away from that for a minute. And these ladies right now are carrying us spirit wise. This is spiritual, spiritually uplifting, a beautiful thing to see these women out there doing their thing in such high regard. This is no easy feat. It's hard enough to win gold, but from the same country to dominate in a fashion where we are going around the world sweeping silver gold and bronze or gold silver and bronze this combination right here and now i'm not a religious person but i do believe in a higher power and i do believe that this is not just people working hard and things falling into place this is people working hard things falling into place and divine order this is how much how powerful this piece of history is that we are witnessing right now to these jamaican women i tip my hat and i look forward to see more greatness sometime soon leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you think about this one and i'll catch you on the next video i'm out peace